something or other. I have lost all track of time. What's up? I'm Jim, hanging out with you filthy, filthy sons of bitches over at Justin TV. You guys, there is some sick shit happening, and I love it. And I love it. I'm full of Evo. <laughs> Uh, I didn't have Obviously. dinner, so uh, Eva was my dinner, which means uh, I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little manic today. That's uh, weird. <laughs> Alright everybody, thank you for joining us. I am of course Nicole, and I'll be in the stick M room with my stickers. And I noticed that the Justin TV room has a lot more chit chat going on, so stick M, talk to me. Step it up. Step it up. Gweek? They have chit chat because they're talking about you and they know you're not there. If you go there, they're going to stop talking about you. <laughs> Gamers, geeks don't know how to fucking talk to girls and they definitely can't talk if they know you're there. Yeah. What's up, I'm Gweeds. We're here uh, on another Friday night. Um, I think tonight what we want to do is sort of talk about a year in review, but not do a fucking another best of list because those are everywhere and you can Snooze. get that shit. Let's just hang out and talk like the way we used to do. Busygamer.com has a competition, uh, Game Minute of the Year. I have no idea if it's for who's the best gamer, who is the hottest. I have no idea what it's for. Jess V is all those yes, things. Yes, Jess V. Vote for her. You can only vote a million times. You can vote once. So just go on other computers. <laughs> Tumor, thank you for the link. Tumor, thanks for the link, buddy. Yeah, do that. That's a good thing to do. Support oh, Jess oh, V. Oh, if she wins, we'll pillow fight. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Something we haven't had a chance to do before, uh, retractions. Oh. Some things that we might have said that we enjoyed and turns out maybe not so much. And I some enjoyed. things that we might have said we didn't and turns out, you know, the more time we gave with it, it's a good it's good it's good stuff. Yeah. 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 Well, what have we talked about here at the game um, show? Well, we we uh, <laughs> first of all we did a we did an episode where we talked about Prototype and Infamous because it came out at the same time. Oh, They're yeah. very similar games. So it was just a question of like, well, I mean, it's sixty bucks a pop. You got to pick one. Well, like, they unfortunately came out at the same time. Yeah, and it's just like the same. Yeah, games. open world sandbox, cool powers, flying around cities, parkour, parkour. Mm -hmm. um, and at the time, I was very much like, yeah, prototype is the way to go. I found Infamous a little boring, and the more time I spent with Infamous, God, that is my biggest retraction of the year. Infamous is a badass game. I want that to do well. I want another Infamous. Sony did, uh, did, oh god, Did it get announced it. or was it just rumor? I saw some blurb about oh, it. Oh, for real? Yeah, There's I saw blurb. I saw blurb. There's already talks of them getting a new voice actor, right? That was a, uh, there was a, there was a uh, release some nods here in the audience. type of thing, yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Well, you know, it's funny because I had the opposite experience where I was pro-infamous. I worked on some of the trailers for the game and then I actually got a copy of Prototype and I found myself playing a lot more of it than I expected to and continued to go back to it. I probably have like one more sitting with it and I just haven't done it, but like got really far, like played way more of that game than I thought I would. Uh, here's another, here's a retraction for me, something that I really was talking up and the more time I spent with it, I was just like, you know what, ah, Fallout 3 DLC. You guys win. You win. You hammered me about the Fallout 3 DLC. I stood my ground and I shouldn't have because I finally got to the one where it's just like, great, you get abducted by aliens. That sounds so exciting. And it's at least, you know, we're out of this world that I'm just so used to and tired of seeing all the same textures. And you get on this fucking alien mothership and it's like, it's the same thing everywhere. It's just different, but repetitive still. So, I don't know. I, I Theo Cervix says he loves the DLC. Yeah. So. But with Fallout 3, it's like, no matter how great a game it is, you don't want to play it forever. There's got to be a point when you're done with the game and you're going to move on. And I think these DLC is just kind of, a, it was just the same old thing. And yeah. It was, it was time.
Uh, for those of you that know, I cannot put this game down. It's a shooter, but you have a skill tree here. You can uh, develop your skill set uh, no matter uh, what you want to do, uh, however you want to focus on the character. But the fun part is you can reset your skill points. Like most uh, uh, MMORPG type things, you can't reset your skill points very easily. No matter what you do, you can reset it. The multiplayer is extremely fun, uh, and uh, even more fun is that you can uh, hang out in town and go look through menus while your buddy is doing things. Uh, you have your cars here. I, I do wish they had a little mini map, but if you're playing with two people, your partner can pull up the map and, and get you through things. Uh, so uh, that's incredibly enjoyable. I'm using the turbo here. They introduce you to characters in a very nice way. I really love the style of the game. Uh, has kind of like a Grand Theft Auto animation on 3D surfaces. Uh, here's the first guy you meet. Uh, I, I love sniping, uh, and it's got lots of different weapons. Of course, lots of different games have weapons, but it has the variety of weapons like uh, Halo, but you can upgrade them all like an MMO or an RPG. The important thing I want to stress is anything that's annoying about other games, they kind of, uh, you won't be able to tell until you play it, but they kind of just get rid of it. You don't have to take a long time to get to places. You can warp to everywhere you've been. Uh, there's plenty of ammo, uh, and it's just, it's fun, and it's fast, and you're having fun right away. Back to you guys in the studio. Nice. None of us have played that yet. We've yeah. all been sitting right, have you, or have you played it, Nicole? I have. I haven't played it yet, no. Yeah, we all, it's a game we missed. Yeah. Just completely missed us. That is quite a segue because now we're going to talk about other games we missed. Oh, <laughs> man. No, I, earlier in the year, um, you know, Flower came out on the PSN. And it and made him cry. <laughs> it did, a little. It, it melted really, his cold, thing, cold but... Gweed's heart. <laughs> Show some footage of Flower. If you guys own a PS3, you have to buy this game. I'm calling this an actual must buy. I think it's $8 or something. It's. It's just fun. You use the motion control. You really get it right away, and you pay. Oh, it's on sale for five bucks. Thanks, Craig J. Craig J. Hayes. I uh, appreciate the info. Um, you are just, you wind? You are the wind. At first, you think you're like a pedal, and then there's like this discovery moment. She's like Hi. the wind. Who? KT Shane is Karen. Yes. Karen. Karen. Rocking the fucking house. <laughs> um, Gweeds likes flowers. I do. This game is great. You you go around, sort of lighten up. Town bringing life back to uh, increasingly more metropolitan environments. Um, oh, cynical I optimist. Get it. He says it's only good if you're a brain dead stoner. Well, <laughs> <laughs> good news. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, the know. first time they were able to take a Batman game and make it awesome. This game is fucking badass and cool, and you are Batman. Did we all three play it? Yes, we did. Oh, yeah. yeah, I absolutely love this you game. You finished it, right? Yeah, I, I, I beat, beat it. it, yeah. I thought the boss battles were kind of, I don't want to say lame, but just not what I had hoped for. The and killer croc the level one. was dope, though. Come on. I mean, that that scared the shit the out of me. The scarecrow sequences scary. are lame. I, I did not. The scarecrow sequences did take me out of the game, I felt, and they were just kind of silly. Yeah. We're, what we're looking at here is like a little mini game where you just beat them up, but the game is really a stealth game, and that's what's cool about it. It's one of the best stealth games we've seen in a Which really... Is, there's a lot of chat room love here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I typically don't like stealth games because I like to Rambo it. I just have to run in there and shoot people, and taking my time again isn't something I'm good at, and I just, I managed to get through this one. I really liked it, so. It's <laughs> it's good. It's, it's, it, it's sad we didn't have the time to do a whole episode on it because there really is a lot to talk about. It had, like, I mean... I, it, it amazes me. I was out to lunch today with someone who plays video games. He is a gamer. He's not a huge gamer. Loves comic books. And he didn't even check out Batman. And I feel like, how did the word not get out? Like, this is a game you need to fucking touch. Segway! Games that you need from 2009! <laughs> Starting off, of course, with Batman. Yes, it is a game you need. It is awesome. You this, need to touch it. You might yes. not need to own it, but you need to have this experience in your life a little bit. The cool thing about like it me. is, yeah, it, it is that stealth. I mean, it is Batman. Yeah, Batman kicks ass, but Batman kicks ass from the shadows. And this game does stealth so well. My only complaint is you tend to want to stay in cowl mode a lot, which is like, you know, it's kind of x-ray vision. It shows you, you know, hot spots and stuff like that. But the environments of the game are so lush and cool and fully realized that when you're in that cowl mode, you don't necessarily get all that awesome detail. Uh, but uh, other than that, I mean, the music is fantastic. Uh, the amount of production that went into the voice acting is fantastic. All those audio, yeah, audio all the mini, found, the mini you, stories, you, even characters in it from the series that weren't actual characters in the game, like Catwoman. You could have, you could find tapes for, and you could like 
I just kind of pulled back through the whole series, even if they weren't in the game, and it, it was definitely an homage to any Batman fan. Another must <laughs> that I was so excited to get my hands on and had to go on vacation like a couple days later, so I didn't even have a chance to play it, and then you motherfuckers got to hang out with Claudia Black is Uncharted 2. Oh, I thought um, you were going to say Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say Ghostbusters. <laughs> Ghost <laughs> suck my dick. Yeah. Uh, Uncharted 2. Obviously. I mean, come on. If you haven't played this, then you don't own a PS3. That's the only reason. Who here is, hasn't beaten it in the chat room yet? I mean, if you, I guess if you have it. Or who, how, who, can we talk about the ending of the game? Oh, Lazarevich. Lazarevich, can we just spoil it for everyone? Yeah, why not? Cool. Uh, what did you guys think of the ending of the game? No! <laughs> don't, I please don't. Okay, lame. all right, all right, we won't. Um, yeah, I mean, this game takes everything to the next level. The voice acting in it is phenomenal. Oh, the animations are phenomenal. It's pretty. When, okay, who, who said this? Uh, somebody said that when the, the cutscenes of Uncharted 2 are better than the last Indiana Jones movie as a whole, <laughs> you've got some problems, Spielberg. You know, like, come on. Uh, it's, and it's, of course they're making it into a movie, and I hope they don't ruin it, but whatever. The game is fucking fantastic, and again, if you own a PS3, there is no reason you should not own Uncharted 2. Yes. I don't want to sit here and make a fucking best of list for you guys, we just want to talk. Like, it's going to be on everyone's list, and anyone who doesn't put it in the top three at least is doing it just to provoke nerd rage. Because yeah. like, you, you're a fucking moron. Um, and the one that kind of sneaks in right underneath that, uh, it's like almost as good as Uncharted 2, uh, Assassin's Creed 2. It's Assassin's fucking Creed. awesome. See, and I this is from somebody that hated <laughs> Assassin's Creed 1. I hated it. I hated it so much. Um, and this game is just fucking amazing in every aspect. I was going to say that I actually like this a little bit more than Uncharted 2. All right. Yeah. I mean, not a lot. I mean, they're definitely in my top games. But I. I think I enjoyed this one more. And I kind of feel like I went to Italy already. <laughs> and your brother uh, picked up some Italian, yeah? Only the bad words. Yeah, of course. It's probably sad. Any uh, game that's got two asses in it, and uh, one of them is Kristen Bell's, which tells me to shut the fuck up right at the beginning <laughs> of the game. It yeah. ends with some yes, also. Please. It also, that game ending. That game ending Bizarre. comes out of left fucking field. And it's but freaky. I'll take it though. I'll it's, take it. It's still fitting within the world though. Yeah. It's still fitting because, within I mean, the world. Because I mean, the game is, it's the Matrix in, in, in the sense that, I mean, the world's crazy and you're in this, what is it, the, uh, the Atomist. The Atomist. So, I mean, sure, throw things at me from left field. I'll take it. It makes sense. Assassin's Creed 2 ending was weak. It, it, I, I agree. It's not like a big, weak? huge ending, it's a confusing. Um, lore-based ending. But it is that weak or is it weird? Weak implies that it's just it wasn't good, it was bad. Here's the thing with video games: it's like you're arcing an experience, and like honestly, the end of the game can't be the climax. It has to come earlier and, uh, and organically through gameplay. And like what you were saying about Uncharted, like you didn't like the last boss fight. But what about the whole sequence leading up to it? What about the whole sequence after that, getting out? You know what I mean? Like, that stuff is the whole experience. And to just take that one little moment and fixate on it, I don't know if that's necessarily a way to judge a game and judge a game ending. Yeah. And you get to fight the Pope. Yeah. Fuck yeah. You're, like, you're like Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. Fighting the Pope. Nothing compares to that. <laughs> <laughs> Super, Super Mario for Wii. Can we talk a little bit more about this? Because you got to play it a lot more I than we did. I had to play a lot more with a lot of people um, in my house, various oh. skill levels. And I think with the exception of maybe two or three levels, you really can play this game with like everyone together bouncing around and just fucking around. This is a must own. If you own a Wii, otherwise return it. Because like this is the game, it's the only game as far as I'm concerned it's worth having in the Wii. It hmm. is super fun. It feels like the best stuff from Mario 3 and a little bit of Mario World in there. I wish it had been a little bit harder in some places. You know why I know it's a great Mario game? Because I wake up in the morning, I'm getting dressed, and I'm like singing this song. I'm like, bah, bah, bah. I'm doing shit <laughs> like that. And like, yeah. And it's just like, Nerd. I come home and it's like, do you want to play? I'm like, no, I'm just, you know, singing the song. <laughs> and I just, when you know it's up in there like that. This is an awesome game. And like, it, there, Everything else before this game should have come out with the Wii. They missed. They missed a big time. That's and it. now we move on to the maybes, because there's room. I, I feel like there's room for debate in these in these games in the maybes. Nicole, do you want to handle this next one? Because I feel like uh, you might have enjoyed. I, I just didn't. I just well, didn't get this one. Our our maybes. Well, our first maybe is uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two. I I really almost said Modern Warfare. 
Um, <laughs> we, we all li like this game enough that we played enough of it, but we really think that this is a this is a multiplayer game. And if you're not good at multiplayer, there's no reason to play it. I personally really like the story mode. I, I played the story. I mean, it only took me like six and a half hours. It's not very long, and that's but that's the thing. That's why it's like sort of like a must, but it's not quite. It's there. like you have to play the story mode. Like if, if you feel like spending sixty four ninety nine to play story mode, then great. If you want to run it to do that, then that's what you're gonna do. If you're not in the multiplayer, then it's gonna be a pass. My brother's still playing the multiplayer, but you know, I'm probably gonna wait a few more months until I forget how to beat single player and I'll go through it again. That's that's what I do with my shooters. Very good friend of mine who went through all of prestige mode in the first game. He's still trying to get his nuke off. So I guess there's also a lot of new challenge or at least a, still a fair amount of competition. Because I mean that guy is good and he still hasn't gotten his 25 kill streak nuke. You know about this? You drop a nuke on the whole fucking map, it kills everybody <laughs> and you wow. automatically win. But you, it's really hard to pull off 25 kills in a row without dying. It's amazing. Uh, now another maybe that makes me drop a sexual nuke, Tactical nuke. Uh, all over <laughs> my bathroom wall is uh, Dragon Age. Uh, and fucking if you, Dragon uh, Age! Fucking Dragon Age! If you watch the show, you know this this is boner material for me. I mean, I am, Why is I it? am, this Still is, with us. they made this for me. Why isn't it a must? It's not a must because I don't think it's for everyone. I feel like there's a lot of nuance. If you're if you're an RPG player, then yes, it's a must. And you're stupid if you've not played this game. But it's it's there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stats to adjust. There's a lot of I, I, but, a lot of pausing. But I, I I I'm on my third character already. Well, just beat it already. I can't. I, I, think I can't gonna, let it go. I've done the thing where I've stepped away for too long. And now I want to start a new one. I don't want to go back to the old stuff. Especially after hearing from Bioware specifically. And I don't know if I said this on the show. If you're playing on a console, they recommend. Bioware guys told me this, you play as a mage your first go-round. They think that's the most balanced way, and you're going to have to learn tactics if you want to do anything else on the console side. Uh, Killateral is saying, Dragon Age is made for PC, end of story. You are correct. You are correct. That is why I'm glad I have a PC emulator on my uh, lovely Mac computer, uh, is because I, I specifically got that and got it all set up specifically because I knew Dragon Age was coming, and it's a game that you should be playing on a PC. And how often, if ever, do you hear that? You can have a foursome. You can have a foursome in Dragon Age. Whoa, that's getting up there. Beautiful. That is getting up. Um, so thank you, Bioware. Those two. Have you had a foursome at <laughs> I have not had a foursome, Guides. Uh, we got it! We got it! <laughs> I said I have not. And it's we fine. Not fun. We can cut that out. Okay. We can cut the knot out. Yeah, I, I can cut the knot out, no problem. <laughs> yeah, do it now, Brian. I have had a foursome, Guides. I have had a foursome, Guides. Mm. Please. So that's our maybes. Call of Duty and Dragon Age. Uh, they're they're very specific to the type of gamer. Um, but games. Okay, so now we want to move on to games we wish were hmm. better. Games no, she's we wish mad. Were, uh, she's, oh, she's always mad. In the cold. Oh, oh no. Gr grumpy face. <laughs> All right, the first one we wish was better, and we were actually out at lunch today, and somebody was like, you know oh, what game we? I really liked? Ghostbusters. The same dude who didn't uh. play Batman. The same fucking guy. Oh. What a misled gamer. Oh, this, here goes Brian. I love Ghostbusters. Uh, this is, I wish. We don't. In, <laughs> Sorry. Go on, Brian. Go on, Brian. Here, here's what I'll say about Ghostbusters. <laughs> if you're a huge fan of Ghostbusters, it's it's. You guys even said this during the original episode. It's definitely worth setting out an easy and going through it. The, the way you can upgrade the weapons was probably, uh, the blaster pack or the proton pack was probably the most fun part about the game. Uh, I think this would be a great candidate to let other people develop DLC for it. I think the writing, oh. it could have been a lot better oh, for the segues. Um, the, but it, I wish it was better. I, it, it could have been a lot better. I think uh, the, the principles were there, the basics were there. They could have made it better. They could have done a better job. But I did have fun with it for the short but time. They, but they, I didn't pay. I, I borrowed it too. I didn't yeah, spend money saying, on it. JK Tens is saying at least it's worth the rent. That's what we're saying. This is a game we still wish was better. We still wish it was better. Yeah. It was potential. It has its moments. And then it just kind of. Yeah. Oh, you know what I wish was better was a brutal legend. Yeah. Uh, still. And that, you know what, we were talking before, people were like, ah, going through games on easy, ew. I'm totally going through Brutal Legend on easy. I'm still, I, I still haven't finished it. I've played through, I've seen the end, so like there's different motivation there, but like I am slogging through it slowly. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's kind of janky. Um, the funniest stuff's in the beginning. Do you think if it didn't have the RTS stuff, you would have liked it more? Or, no, if, or if it handled game. the RTS better? No, honestly, I just wanted it to be funnier. I'm just like kind of like it's one of those like a little bit of overhype and too much like just didn't really get me there. 
Like, yeah. I enjoyed it, but I just, the RTS, like, boss battle type things, we have to build the stages, like, I got to a point where it just, it wasn't fun, it wasn't organized, and I feel like had they, had they executed that better, I at least would have beaten it. I don't think jumping would have made the game better. <laughs> They're saying in jumping the chat room. Jumping makes every game better. But Bunny you know hop. what? No. At Bunny least the good thing, the good thing about this game is there is, it, it generates discussion. There are people in the room that are like, it's awesome, and people that are like, Fucking it fucked my eyes out. Uh, I, so I like there is good that there's that those those two. I like the people saying go play Psychonauts, which you can download on the Xbox Marketplace for like ten bucks. Go do that. That's a much better time. It really yeah. is. It really is. And that makes me so sad as someone who even can appreciate metal that like, fuck man, why did why why couldn't it have just been tighter? And I guess for some they still say fuck off Gweed, so yeah. you can have that. That's cool. Just I wish it was better. And Halo ODST, we also wish was better. Cool concept, maybe not the greatest execution. Did you see today they're saying Halo Reach is going to be the most anticipated game of next year? No, it's not. Come on, I'm Bungie. Lies. Ha, the most the anticipated? No, no, I'm not, no, Bungie. not by any means the most, but it's, the they haven't even released any kind of marketing for this yet, and I'm already semi-excited about I'm it. I'm not. I, I'm a fan of the Halo series, and that's why I wanted this one to be better. And I kind of feel like, um... I honestly feel like I didn't play this one enough. Like, I feel like I, did, I didn't play that much because I immediately didn't like it, and I kind of wish I had played more so I could have had a better opinion on it, if that makes any sense at all. I really have not liked the Halo games in a long I like time. I yeah. bunny hop and shit lasers. Yeah. Satisfied. Yeah, it's just... I don't know what... I don't know. I gotta see what they're talking about with Reach. I think that they those guys just need to show up with a good game. They usually don't show much until it's out, and that's sort of the thing with ODST. They don't need to anymore. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe when Halo Reach Around comes out, I'll yeah, give it a try. But until then... So no, funny. thank you. That's an interesting QA session right there. Those <laughs> QA testers. <laughs> mm, uh, it's high uh, steam. Can we... Let's, uh, let's burn through some games that we're looking forward to in 2010, because maybe there's not too much to say about them other than that. Banana, um, she doesn't wear clothes. Her suit's made of her hair, and when she does combo attacks, you see her ass. Massive. And side boob. I was a big fan of I was a big fan of Beautiful Joe and uh, Okami, so side I'll boob. go with that. Yeah. Side Mass boob. Effect 2. Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2. Mass Effect 2. What was that? That's all you need to know. Oh, Mass Effect 2. Right, January 26th. I feel like you've played it or something. You could. <laughs> Maybe. But no. But yes. Uh, but no. God of War 3. God of War 3. God of War 3. Obviously is coming. I feel like they've done really well where they kind of went into this lull and like people aren't quite thinking about it and it's going to come out strong, strong in the early part of next year. Final Fantasy awesome. 13. Looks beautiful. We'll see how it plays. I'm still excited for it. I'm excited for it. It will be my first Final Fantasy, everybody. You are gonna break Woo. in a chocobo. Woo. Yeah. They're big. They're yeah. really big in this game. Yeah, they're they not are. cute little things. Oh, they're so cute. Oh man. Mm. What else we got? Um, oh, Red Dead Redemption. We've talked about on the show. AVP. You skipped it. Mm -hmm. Alien versus Predator. The I'm... game's already banned in Australia. Uh, dark it. Void. It's dark. Uh, Dutch's Inferno. Um, Bioshock 2 comes out the same day as Dutch's Inferno. Uh. Chaos. Uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2. I really like the writing in the first one, so I'm excited for that one. Uh, Dead Rising 2 Zombies. Hopefully more chances, potentially a lot more. Uh, Dead Space 2. Squeeze, let me borrow Dead Space 1. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chief vs. Noctis we talked about. I mean, that's just the formula for success. <laughs> and 3D, 3, 3D Doc Games Heroes is Zelda on the PSM, but it's okay, I'll take it. And Heavy Rain. I don't really um, like the rain, but... Um, <laughs> you don't like to drive in the rain. Yeah. That's true, I don't drive in the rain. I just what? sleep in my bed and hear the rain. Is that a game? Seven, six, five... We just talked about a few games that we are all looking forward to. So here are seven games that only I am looking forward to. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Monster Rancher for the DS. So Monster Rancher DS, AKA Monster Farm DS. You are two. such a homo. Yo, Lugaro, Master Breeder. Master Breeder. Oh my God, you're such so a homo. So that's what it's yeah, called say in that Japan. Yeah, yeah, I said it. Uh, that's what it's called in Japan, and you know what? I want it only because you can breed, train, and fight monsters, and that's such an original concept that I love it. All right, <laughs> six. Super Meat Boy. Um, I may not like meat. What no, no one likes that soundboard. Um, uh, but I do, I do love love, and uh, Super Meat Boy 
has to rescue his girlfriend, Bandage Girl. Where did this come from? Um, it's it's <laughs> indie. It's indie game. Those guys are crazy. Oh, okay. Um, five. Siberia. Three. What? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> What's yeah. the fuck is that? <laughs> I know, she sends me this graphic and I was like, what the fuck are not, you sending me? Not the actual graphic. Oh, is that but you know what? That's what Liberia looks like. So, um, I A lot of white and one snowman. So, four. Butterfly Garden. Uh, excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, Butterfly ga Garden is a game based around, you guessed it, gardening butterflies. And you breed them and it's about genetic engineering and you genetically breed them to find more species of butterflies, and you can use the multiplayer to trade genes. So if you ever wanted to be a butterfly pimp, <laughs> this game is for you. That game is coming out yeah. for the Xbox 3, boring. <laughs> yeah, butterfly sex, all right. Three, I'm actually kind of excited, Lego Harry Potter. Oh my um, god. Yeah, okay, Lego Indiana Jones oh. was the worst game ever invented. Gave but, it shit a kiss. But Harry Potter is the best series ever. Oh. And this is Harry Potter 1 through 4. I've never seen you get so much hate in the chat room, Nicole. Yeah, we <laughs> are, baby. Oh, I have. We did oh, Mass yeah, Effect, so, uh, Gears of War, Cyber Spy. Um, <laughs> Legos, Harry Potter, Crocs. <laughs> Two, Naughty Bear. What? Naughty Bear. Pedo Bear. Naughty what? Bear is an upcoming game brought to you by Artificial Mind and Movement. It will be an action game, and there's lots of bear on bear action. You are a bear who did not get invited to another bear's birthday party, and you just go really like ape shit, ape shit crazy mad, and you kill everyone. And so, says you're weird. Um, two seasons, and you just figure that out. And so, basically, you kill everyone on the island of perfection, and the more people you horribly, horribly mall, you get points. And you're oh a teddy bear. God. And you're a teddy bear! Oh, All right, yeah. number one. Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Discord man yeah! got it! Discord yeah. man smack totally you. got it! No one saw that. All right, some might argue that every Pokemon game is relatively the same, and they're basically selling you the same stuff over and over again. You can't argue that now, because they are selling me the exact same game that I already own. Because I bought Pokemon Silver back in the 90s, and I'm gonna buy oh it again God. in April. Guys. Pokemon Soul Silver. It's Pac Mobilia! <laughs> it's a weird one, and Yay. it's been a late night, so hopefully you guys can get this one quicker than uh, usual. But it, it, this is a hard one. Here we go, here are all the clues. These items are super sweet. They are some of the more obscure, abstract Pac-Man items we featured. It's uh, very similar to the item from episode 128. Rushes to oh, Wikipedia. Come on, get Rushes it. to the archives. Um, it's partially one of the games we missed that I talked about on tonight's show. It's partially made of the game, uh, a game that we missed that I talked about on tonight's show. Hmm. Good luck with my grammar. Uh, usually, you'll find this item around the holidays. It's not officially licensed Namco merch. It's been featured in one of the most famous game endings of the last few years. Nicole definitely knows how to put one of these together. And if you can't figure it out by now, you can eat it. Who won a token? Well, Woozle316. Woo! Yeah. Kenji X Samurai. Yay. Two or 20. Woo. Begs. Yeah. And Altoid05. A bunch of regulars. Yay, good. They all guessed Pac-Man dessert. We've got cake and pie from Thanksgiving, actually. Brian, you got a picture of it? Like, we did, this was cake and pie. I had this at one point. And they looked like Pac-Man when we each took a slice. That was on Thanksgiving. Uh, a lovely blueberry, cranberry, cakey thing and an apple pie from scratch. Um, nom, nom. Yeah, you didn't get Indeed. none. No. Go to the Zune Marketplace if you haven't already. If you own a Zune, uh, subscribe to us. That's awesome. Thank you for the guys that have, guys and gals that have. And uh, we're also on iTunes uh, for you Mac lovers out there. We know we know you Mac lovers are out there too. Uh, so yeah, so check the message board. We'll let you guys know what's coming up next week. Until then, I am Jim. Nicole, vote for Jess and we'll pillow fight. Buck beak. <laughs> I'm Gwitz. That's right, pillow fight. Game show. Good night. <laughs>